How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to send text messages from your Chromebook. Now to do this, there's a couple of steps. You, you will need an Android phone to do this. Um, so um, first thing we're going to do, open up your Chromebook and you want to go into the Google search at the top of the screen right here and type in Chrome Web Store. When you type in Chrome Web Store, look at the option right underneath the ad here that says Google Chrome Web Store. Click on there. From here, where it says search the store, type in Mighty Text. Mighty Text. We're going to scroll down and we want, let's see. We want the one that says G text. Uh, so we're gonna click on free right here. And we're gonna click add. Okay, so now it's gonna add it as an extension. And if you notice, let's see. Okay, so now that that is done, we need to go to our gmail so go to gmail.com okay so from here you'll notice now you have a symbol right under compose that says authorize so we're going to click on authorize and it's going to ask you to sign in to your gmail one more time. Okay. And once you sign in, it's going to say Google is not affiliated with the content. Basically, allowing, giving them access uh, to the email as well as to um, allowing my text to be linked together with your Gmail. So click allow. and blank page blank page okay so while that is doing that you will need to go to your uh, your phone and so what we're gonna do is we need to go to the app store and we need to go to the search and we need to type in mighty text we did not download the mighty text app so right here, Mighty Text, PC to SMS messaging. And we want to install it. And we're going to accept it. Okay, so it is downloading now. And here we go. Here is the app for Mighty Text. We're going to tap on it. And so you have to choose the account you want to sync. I'm going to sync my H2 Tech. Click on there and hit complete setup. And then it's gonna allow it's gonna ask you for access. You're gonna tap allow access. And now it says to start texting from your computer, go to the URL HTT mightytext.net slash app. So now we're gonna come here and we're gonna type in HTTP. And this will all be on your phone as well s slash slash mighty text dot net slash app okay and give it a second sorry about the camera there because the, when the screen is white it kind of trips and there it is and now we can send text messages right from um, right from the computer and also, now you can go right to Gmail. And I'm just going to refresh the screen here. And now you have a compose button right here. So if I want to send a text message, I can just hit compose here. And I can put in someone's number I want to send it to. Okay, so I'm going to send a text message to Wayne here. And I'm going to say, yo, basically sending it to myself. I'm going to hit yo. And I'm going to send it off. 
And so watch what happens. When the message pops up, it's actually gonna show up right on your screen here. So now when someone texts you, you'll see it right on your uh, Chromebook and you can respond. How's it going? Obviously I know I'm texting myself because I don't have anyone else to text. Womp womp. But here's the cool part too. If I'm in a different app and I send a text message, so now I'm gonna send one, I'm gonna go to my phone because again, this will allow you to text from your phone as well as you can text from the computer. So now you have access to both routes. What's up? And watch, it's gonna pop up right on the side of my screen here. Just give it a couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. Couple more seconds. That's kind of weird. Usually, oh, sorry. So if you look right here, it actually says new message. So it uh, you do have to be in the Gmail app to be able to send and receive. Uh, sometimes the message will pop up in other uh, apps. But um, for the most part, uh, you, you just want to have a tab open for Gmail, and then you can see those messages pop up uh, right in your Gmail. There's also an option where you can back up your photos too. You can even go right under inbox, go to text, and you can look at previous messages. You can text older people you send messages to. Um, there's a lot of options with it, but mainly this is how you set it up. This is how it works. And now you can text right from your Chromebook. Um, your the one stipulation is your phone needs to have the 4G turned on or it needs to have the data turned on. I'm not 100% sure, but I think if your if your phone is only on Wi-Fi, I'm not sure if it totally works the same. So your phone does have to be connected to 4G. If I'm wrong, just put in the comments and then I'll you know post it. But for the most part, I believe you do have to be connected to 4G. So. Uh, also, your Chromebook does need to be connected to Wi-Fi, so this doesn't doesn't work when you're not in Wi-Fi. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and have a good one.